why police robots are inevitable. We see more and more police aggression. You know, George Floyd just happened recently. And if you can see, there's also a lot of live PD on YouTube, which is, uh, even though there were media there, you can still see that, for example, after there's a pursuit, you can see how much our officers are more likely to be more aggressive with the, whoever did the offense. So in a way, humans are not fully suitable to be police officers because they get invested. It's hard when you fight with someone, for example, physically, even in a protest or in, in some other ways, and there is like physical alter altercation to be very calm and do whatever it, you're supposed to do. It's hard to stay impartial in a way. Of course, you can say that we need much more de-escalation training and things like that. But that, that would take a long, a long time and a lot of money. And you still want to have, you still have some of them. Therefore, I think eventually we will see more and more police robots. Of course, we, we're not quite yet there. We're far away from having this ability. But I think eventually we would work more towards that position because robots are more, much more easily, easily <coughs> sorry, to control. You can have, you can still say, yeah, but they, uh, even police robots could, uh, could be more aggressive. But the, the thing is that they're programmable. You can program them. And if there is a problem, you find a problem, you find some racist traits you can program them and eliminate them altogether and across the whole force across the whole police force versus having to retrain every officers and you, you don't have full control of, over the officers besides there is less and less it's there is always there is always there is already decrease amount of police there is less and less people who want to be police officers there is a decrease in the amount of applications they have in, 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 in recent years. Because less people want to be police officers. It becomes dangerous and there is less appreciation for it now for justified reason. But still there is less. They don't get paid enough. And eventually we would have to have something similar to that. As I said, I think it's going to be far away because we don't have the technology yet. So in the, min in the time between, in the meantime, we maybe would see more security cameras installed in various places, which will help. You don't have to have that police presence. You can have much more. Uh, security cameras around in more places because and with some kind of an AI that would alert police that's some kind of a police robot you don't have to have like an actual robot but you can have something like that the drones instead of people pursuing and more things like that because of course de-escalation could could uh, de-escalation training would work but I think less and less we would have to have more police force less people going there and still, we will have issues even with all, all the changes. I'm sure there will be more issues coming up. And we would ha have to find different ways. And I think uh, one of the uh, police robots, or like I said, in the meantime, more security cameras, AI control, and video anal analyzation to figure out if there was a crime made and alert the police right away, which again, need the less police force, actual police force. Uh, could be uh, something we would see uh, in the future. It will be interesting to see how things will evolve. Thank you.